Back FM. The most uh, dramatic changes we had was the school timetable. Because the first three years we were here, we were here till school from quarter to nine till four o'clock. But then they took away our 15 minutes of lunch and these days we start at half eight to half three. But that doesn't matter anymore because we're leaving now and we'd be delighted. And I suppose um, the change of principle. Uh, there was a tuck shop uh, that Mel used to run in the uh, new building. Unfortunately, that closed after a few months or whatever. But uh, most famously, uh, Mr. Kilty uh, runs a shop called Mes Mel's SOS, which is uh, upstairs, and uh, the corridor was just jammed full of people. You could never walk through it. And being a small first year, it was, it was tough going, you know. But uh, then uh, a couple of years later, then in transition year, that they moved it downstairs. We're now going to discuss our favourite moments of Temple Oak College. I have three particular moments I have, and then Darren and I will discuss other people's moments as well. Um, first of all, uh, first year, um, Mr. O'Shea was giving out to my class, and um, I sort of was thinking about something else, and then I started laughing, and then he just flung his stuff off his desk, and he gave it a hell to me, and I don't know what sort of a situation I got into there. Thankfully, everything was all right after that. But uh, the next bit was um, the retreat video. They videotaped us uh, doing a conference and stuff, and um, when I heard my voice for the first time after it broke, I couldn't stop laughing Mr. McCabe's laugh. I had to leave and I came back and I continued to laugh and that was just funny. And the third thing people were talking to me about was um, when I was in Mr. Kevill's English class, uh, the character Jim, I used to always call him Jim, that's in the book To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I don't know why I had that habit of saying that, but I suppose I know a lot of people that are called Jim and that just so happened to be. Anyway, uh, Darren, I'll have a couple of moments that other people uh, rolled into us. The thing that came back on most of our sheets was about the fourth year trip to Glen Lock and how uh, Richard Craven somehow fell into a river. Now, that came back on nearly every sheet. We've also got a few on the second year band trip to America. Uh, uh, what's the your ones there? Well, I have uh, Richard Craven fall into a river as well. And uh, a magpie got loose in the corridors and crashed into a window. And also uh, a mention of Jerry McCabe's famous religion class over the years, which uh, was probably the most, the funniest religion class I've ever attended. I remember that Jerry years. McCabe. I remember Jerry McCabe. He would give me ten euro and send me off to Stalin to buy my burger. Plenty of reports coming in, but the best one I I have to say, Richard Richard Craven falling into a river. True, yeah, definitely.